Good morning, everyone. Say good morning to Miss Brooke here. <gasps> Hi, baby girl. I'm about to feed her bottle in a minute. I just wanted to update you guys. We are going to our doctor's appointment this morning for Brooke here. I know I talked about this in our last video. I think her um, two-week update video about her reflux at night and how bad it is. So the other night, she um, was coughing up and then I stopped hearing her breathe and I checked on her and she started turning blue and it was just, it was all just too much. So I called her doctors and we made an appointment for her today to come check on her to see if she needs medication, to see what's going on, um, check for pyloric stenosis if that's the case, but I don't think it is because she's not like throwing up after every feeding or every other feeding. It's just the reflux at night is terrible. Um, I actually have no makeup on today. And I just got the shower, so I'm like, meh, and red, and mm. So I'll let you guys know what happens if we are going to be doing medicine, um, whether it be baby Zantac or Prevacid or something, I have no idea. I don't want to resort to medicine and drugs for my baby, but if that's the only thing that can actually help her and let her breathe at night and not wake up to something tragic, then that's what we're going to have to do. So I'll let you guys know what happens. I'm going to give Brooke here a bottle me some coffee and a muffin for breakfast so i'll see you guys in a little bit say good morning youtube we got breakfast going on so currently our new issue is this blanket of hers right here one of many blankets that she has has got to be with her the entire time she threw a massive tantrum and fit because i did not give it to her this morning and then when i tried to take it away from her so she could eat breakfast hi uh, that didn't go so well and it was almost like dealing with a huge baby even though you're not a baby anymore honey you're a big girl now so now we have a new issue she wants her blanket with her and this has never happened before she's never acted this way or acted clingy towards anything and this is like something completely new today but not really wanting to fight this battle so I'm gonna let her have it, enjoy herself. Brooke is napping right now. And then once Lily's done eating, I have to start pumping and then we'll get ready to go to the doctors. So far that's our plan. You're making a mess, my love. Here's Miss Brooke. She's just napping. And yes, she is on her belly. However, she is doing just fine and I am watching her. Her face isn't smothered and she is breathing. But this is one of the ways that I can actually get her to sleep and ease her belly for now. So, once again, another battle that I don't really want to fight. If this helps her, then so be it as long as I'm watching her, which I am like a hawk. <sighs> and that's it for our morning so far. So we just got back from the doctors. Say hello. Who's a big girl? Hi. <laughs> And Miss Burke here is actually gaining weight perfectly. She now weighs 11 pounds, no, I'm sorry, 10 pounds and 12 ounces. So you might as well just say 11 pounds. Yeah. They finally ordered her some medicine. So it looks like that's what she's gonna have to do. We've done everything we possibly can to help her with like home remedies and elevating her and everything else. So it looks like I will have to give her medication now. Our baby girl is on drugs, yay. I was trying to avoid it, but so we went to the pharmacy to pick it up, and it's just like a baby version of Zantac. So far, that's a no-go because apparently insurance hasn't quite added her on yet. Even though they said that she's added, it hasn't updated in their system. It's one big headache. So hopefully, they'll actually add her onto the system and update it by later on tonight. So we could go back to the pharmacy tonight to pick it up. I'm hoping within a couple days of her being on medication, it would actually help her and she could actually sleep at night. And I won't wake up in the middle of the night to find my baby blue and choking because that, let me tell you, is nerve wracking all week long. Not really all week long, but all three weeks that she's been alive. <laughs> so hopefully this helps. Um, I'm about to make baby girl and me some lunch. Say so we're going to eat soon, aren't we? We're going to eat soon. <laughs> So Lillian has a new toy, no not my phone, but this is pretty cool, it's like a book with different characters and things, I guess themes for Disney stuff, this one is Palace Pets, 
which is so cute and like a little thing she could draw on. Look, honey, right here, see? And it makes marks. Ooh. <laughs> and you could erase it just like that. Look, you want to spell your name? <laughs> Lillian. Mommy writes like a first grader. Look at you go. Good job, honey. Do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> Brooke is hopefully going to start her medication tonight. It depends if my husband can actually pick it up. If not, then we will go in the morning and pick it up and start it tomorrow. It's like three times a day, which works out great every eight hours because, well, she's a baby and she's up throughout the night with feedings and diaper changes. We've been doing a routine where I will put husband to bed about nine o'clock in the evening and then finally come to bed myself at about one o'clock or so in the morning. And that's where I stay with Brooke and either I do some studying time or Netflix, um, catch up on YouTube videos, editing or whatever I'm doing, kind of like my and Brooke time in a sense. And that's like when we do feedings and I kind of keep her up, keep her elevated. Hi, honey. Look at this happy girl right here. Say I love my new toy. Hi. You're such a big girl. I know. I'm so proud of you. I love you, Lilybug. So, yeah, that is what we're doing. So, what was I saying? Um, ah, oh, that I, okay. So, me and Brooke upstairs about one in the morning or so, and then come to 2 2 30 um she's been gurgling the entire time since i put her down and just choking and it sounds so awful so i'm technically not asleep and I come two o'clock i'm back up again to feed her again to pump to change her diaper and usually my husband wakes up to help me with that and he's up for a good hour or two holding her and letting me kind of get shut eye if i can so i get maybe like two hours if i'm lucky in the night and it's not consecutive and it's very broken up because I'm listening to her gurgle the entire time. And that's just, if you're a mom, you know that mom ears and mom head, you know, your brain does not shut off for anything. You hear your kids, it just, you cannot sleep. You cannot kind of like let it rest. So last night we tried a thing where I went to bed at nine and stayed asleep until midnight. And let me tell you, it may have been three hours but it was the best three hours that I've gone in the entire month that she's been here practically. Husband stayed downstairs with her. I went upstairs. I got great shut eye. So I woke up about midnight, one o'clock with her. He came upstairs and then I came down with her and stayed with her for the entire time just to kind of keep her elevated and breathing. But that is our plan for tonight. I'm actually looking forward to it because it's just, it feels really great to actually get decent sleep. So I will talk to you guys in our next vlog. I want to make a new video about the transition between having one child and having two children and then three or more, which we will never have for like four kids. Three is our max. But I want to go ahead and make that kind of video. Expectations versus reality and everything else of what it's really like. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Um, any ideas? I have yet to do a house tour. It's just... It's a wreck right now. It could be worse. You know, there are a lot of other houses that are worse, but there's a lot of other houses that are cleaner. So let me know what you guys think, and I will see you for our next video. Bye.